Now it's possible some of you might run into some errors, so I'm just running it again right now. Um, over here, I've intentionally made some mistakes in the code so that um, you can see how to figure out some errors, right? It's possible you can get into some errors when you're deploying your um, application on Heroku, okay? So um, over here, you can see that um, you, you not, if it fails, you will not see your application is deployed successfully. You will not see it over there, right? Over here, you can see that there are some, um, this is what we call the logs, right? These things that you see here are the logs. Okay, now you can see that we have um, push failed, um, push reject failed, and blah, blah, blah. You can see that these are errors, right? Could not find a version that satisfies the requirement flask equals something, something. So this one is pointing you to um, the mistakes that you're doing, right? This flask version is not available, right? So you need to go back here. If you have set this one, right? Um, this one automatically deploys, right? If you have set that one, then whatever changes you're going to do in your GitHub is going to reflect, right? It's going to reflect in the Heroku. It's going to reflect here in the Heroku. So um, I'm going to go into the requirement.txt, right? And then I'm going to click on this edit here, right? I'm going to click on that. Then um, I'm going to maybe remove this one, right? So that it will just be plain like that. It will find the requirement automatically for me instead of me specifying it, right? So I'm going to leave it like this. And then I'm going to um, go down here and then commit changes. Once I do this, it's also going to automatically reflect in Heroku, right, for us. So I'm going to go and then click on deploy branch again. Um, item could not be created, blah, blah, blah. Sometimes it just does that. Um, let me just click on this, go back. And then um, deploy again. Um, just keep trying, it will work. Don't worry about that. Uh, sometimes it does that. Maybe you can wait for some time and then or oh, maybe refresh over here. and then click on deploy branch. Okay, so you can just keep on trying, right? If it doesn't, it will give you that message, just refresh and then keep on trying to it will work. Now see that it's building it again, right? It's, it's building it again. It's just, it has started building on Heroku again. All right, so you can just keep, um, just refreshing it or maybe go back and then come again. I'll give it, just wait for some time, then it will work. So I'm going to see now if it everything is going to work right. Let's see. Okay, so now you see that after we fix that, um, it is now working, right? After we fix that, it's now working. Now, um, one thing that you can also do is that uh, when you are viewing the logs, it's not always going to be uh, maybe the Python, or, I mean, maybe the Flask or something. It could be another library which is causing that mistake, right? So now um, after uh, we fixed, so you just go back to your... I mean, your your GitHub account and then you do it. You fix it over there, right? If you have set this one to automatic, then it's, it's just going to work. Now, let me click on this one and see. Okay, now you see that everything is, everything is working for us.